Hello, John Dilworth here, and Sunday with Dilly. I was shocked the day I discovered that Van Gogh, Vincent Van Gogh, was also very strange to me because the French had kind of commodified. It's in Amsterdam that I learned that he was a master draftsman. He could paint reality. He saw it and then reproduced it, almost like a photograph. When I discovered that, I guess my head rolled off because I hadn't been taught that in art school. I'm so accustomed to having reality served to me. And um, that's the perception I develop. It only takes a matter of uh, initiative, the will to be able to look at reality and to draw it accurately so that you then become, at least this is what I learned, uh, able to do anything you want with it. And I guess you could also see that it's part of this principle of learning the fundamentals, shading, lighting, I guess it's what it's called, highlights, things like that. It's also very important, not just for backgrounds, but for animation, for drawing. And look how the lighting has changed. So there's so many factors that go into creating a perception. I once read uh, recently, perhaps this is some helpful, maybe this is helpful to us, that uh, human beings are only taking in very little of what they see consciously. Subconsciously, I don't know how these men of, of science have determined this, so much is hidden just under consciousness. And if we were to retrieve everything we see and feel, how will we exist without exploding? So perhaps this is something that's uh, important. We have to keep this in mind as well. We're making some interesting uh, progress on how very interesting we're going, we will be going to harmony. Ah. Harmony. Even the sound of it is a, a kind of promise that should raise an eyebrow. Because what is harmony? When all things exist co in a cohabitative way, mutually mutually beneficial, not living off each other, but helping each other, right? Helping each other. Look at that, those filthy birds. Birds have always been a kind of a symbol of spirit, some spiritual quality that I only discovered later in life after my own dirty birdie. Another bird interests, you say bird fetishes. And now here, some, look at this. Right, this is also an illusion. And we return to our feet, our feet, and how to draw feet. This obsession with feet, where, where are we walking, where we've been, where we will go. Are we walking on the moon? Is the moon on us? Oi, oi, oi. Happy September. Until next time, stay animated.